share something with you that spoke to me while I was in jail. Um, it's something that I kind of plan to do a teaching on, but this is just going to be kind of freestyling it. Okay, this is about the dam a possessed damsel in the book of Acts. Okay, um, I'm going to start in Acts 16, or yeah, it's Acts 16, 16. Okay, and it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us, and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, went to the Roman soldiers, and had her arrested for harassment and disorderly conduct. Then he filed a no-contact order against her. <laughs> okay, it's like, whoa, where did you go off on that? That's not what it says. Okay, let's see what it says. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Okay, so what did Paul do? Well, Paul trusted in the Lord. Okay, um, we have a problem today with professing Christians. Um, who probably aren't even saved, but maybe some Christians who are saved, they, um, and just people in general, they, they just want to burn people today. They want vengeance, they want revenge, they just want to shut people up, and so the first thing that anything happens, they're going to contact the police, okay? Um, nobody wants to do things like men today, okay? They don't want to talk things out like men, um, if you offend somebody, you know, they're not going to talk it out with you. They're just going to contact the police and try to get you arrested, try to get you taken care of. Um, you know, 1 Corinthians sixteen thirteen says, Watch you, stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men. Okay, be strong. You are to be like men, okay? You're not to be a coward and just call the police at the drop of a hat for every little incident, okay? Because somebody's annoying you or whatever. Now, there might be instances where, you know, it's valid to, to call the police, but uh, most of the times when people are doing it, it's not, okay? And I'm not saying that, you know, maybe that it's a sin to, to call the police, but, um, you know, these people are people who do this are, you know, they're filled with fear. They have a fear of man. And the Bible says that, you know, the fear of man is the snare of the devil. Um, we are to fear the Lord instead of man. And we are to trust in the Lord. Um, you know, Proverbs twenty nine twenty five says, The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Okay? Not whoso putteth their trust in the local uh, police enforcement. Okay? Um, these people who want to contact the police so quickly, they are, you know, they're focused on the here and now. And they're afraid, you know, we're to fear the Lord. Um, I know I'm repeating myself here, but Luke twenty twelve. Five, one of my favorite verses, Luke twelve five says, But I will forewarn you whom you shall fear, fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell, yea, I say unto you, fear him, okay? Um, we should not fear man who can only kill the body, okay? We should know that even if we are killed, that we will continue to live in heaven with the Lord. We will continue to be with the Lord. We are promised eternal salvation for those who believe in eternal security. Um... You know, so this is a big problem today. People are just cowards. They want vengeance. The Bible says vengeance is the Lord's. Um, you know, it's, I think it's usually done out of a spirit of vengeance. Um, you know, wanting to harm somebody, wanting to, you know, just have them dealt with quickly. Uh, not wanting to stand up and have a conversation or stand up and defend yourself like a man. Um, instead, you know, people are just contacting the police. And we don't see that anywhere in Acts, okay? The only time, you know, when people are arrested and stuff, it is... The godly people who are arrested, you know, Jesus and the apostles, over and over again, they're arrested. You know, we don't see them having other people arrested. We don't see any examples of that, you know, and we know that the Bible says that you, you shouldn't take a brother to court, you know. Um, contacting the police uh, at the drop of a hat is what the heathen do. We are not to be like heathens. So, brothers and sisters, I just encourage you, you know, 
to put, put your trust in the Lord. Don't don't contact the police for every little thing. You know, if somebody's bothering you or something, you know, pray about it. Uh, speak to the person like a man, uh, and trust in the Lord. You know that, and be patient. That something will be done about it. Don't be fearful. You know, especially if the people aren't making physical threats and stuff. You know, um, don't don't just jump to crazy conclusions. You know that you're you're fearful for your life or something. You know, uh, unless the person you know they've already been in prison for murder and stuff, and they're making physical threats and stuff, and it's really valid. Then you know, I don't know. You know, you can still just trust in the Lord, or you know, if you feel like you might have to contact the police, maybe there's some some valid some valid times to do that. But I'm gonna say a majority of the time when the police are contacted, it's not valid. Okay, and people just need to deal with things like men. Um, no. So, that's all I gotta say, I guess. I'd like to hear some comments on this. So thank you for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.